Luke writes in, he says this. He says, I have a question about the book of James. I don't disagree with the content, works, flow from faith, etc. But we know that James was written early, indeed, uh, probably the first letter, prior to Paul's letters. Mm-hmm. Maybe prior to Paul's conversion. We know that from Galatians, uh, that we know that the Galatians were troubled by men sent from James. Uh, why is James considered a scripture? Now, hold on. You're going to ask a question, and I'm going to answer it. But I want to insist that what Paul says about men who came from James um, does not mean James authorized what they said. Uh, it means they were associated with James, right? Um, did James make mistakes the same way Peter did when Peter was, I think, in the same kind of context um, uh, when Paul's writing about this, when he was uh, pressured by others to not eat with the Gentiles, but to only eat with the Jews? Um is it possible for the apostles to have made mistakes? Yes, absolutely. To transfer that into, is it possible that James made mistakes in his letter? This is to question the canonicity of Scripture, right? This is to question the inspiration and inerrancy of the Bible. This is to believe that Jesus isn't competent to be in charge of his own book, right? Like you can say, oh, it's written by men and Jesus didn't write himself. Okay, wait, is he risen? Yes. Is he God? Yes. Did he send them? Yes. Did he send the Holy Spirit? Yes. Is he in charge of everything? Yes. So, so then the Bible right now is what he wanted it to be. Right? Because he's in charge. Right? So, so the Bible right now is what he wanted it to be. And it hasn't changed. Right? You can talk about variant manuscripts in the first three centuries, but you, when you study it, it hasn't changed. All right? So, so either you're going to say, Jesus left us a Bible that he doesn't want us to trust, or Jesus left us a Bible that he wants us to trust because you wants us to trust him. So you cannot distinguish otherwise. The one exception being, recognizing that between the homologumina, I know it sounds like weird language, it's Greek, and the antilegomena, that is the books that were universally accepted by the early church, there's 20 of them in the New Testament, and the books that were argued about in the early church, there's seven and James is one of them, you can recognize that there is an order in them, right? That you move from the Gospels to the Pauline epistles to the Catholic epistles to those which were spoken against, and you don't use those which were spoken against to undo what came before. So that's fine, but that's not saying they're in error. That's saying that scripture interprets scripture, right? And when scripture interprets scripture, you must start somewhere. And where do you start? Matthew and Paul. That's where you start. You know, John as well, of course, but not the first letter, not the third letter by any means, right? And not that it's wrong or untrue, but it's not going to help you much if you don't have the rest of what's going on before it.